Hey guys, Marco from Copy the Glass. Now, if you're a fan of the Google Maps application for Android, you'll probably by now have discovered that there is a new version out with a lot of new features. I'm Marco from Copy the Glass, and let's see if we can find anything new with Android's Google Maps. Okay guys, well the Maps application hasn't really changed all that much apart from a couple of things that really do, in my opinion, enhance the experience quite a lot. Now, so you're going to be greeted with the brand new designed maps, which are really nice, really fluent to kind of zoom in, zoom out, panning around. There's no slowdown, no buffering that I can see, kind of, you know, when you're kind of going through the menus and it pixelates around the edge and then it eventually pops in. I haven't had any of that either on 3G or on Wi-Fi, so really good that they've sorted out that in this newer version. Obviously, you've still got the sidebar from the maps application that pretty much every Google app now has. Now in the sidebar it's going to have your usual things like traffic, public transport, cycling routes, obviously the option to bring up satellite maps and also uh, go into Google Earth which will require a external application but if you've got it on your device it's going to get you there no problem at all. Now one of the newest features which is really nice is up here in the search bar. So obviously if you just click on search you can search for a location as you normally would do um, but what you're now going to be granted with is a explore feature as well. So there we go. So there's the explore function down the bottom there. And all you're going to do is just click on that, and it's going to bring up a full list of things that you can do within your area for certain things. So you've got eating out, drink, shop, play, sleep, etc. So if we use sleep as an example, this is going to bring up things like hotels, bed and breakfast, things like that. Now the interface, as you can see here, is very Google now with the card interface, really fluent even, really nice to use. And I have really enjoyed kind of finding, not even um, new places, but just normal places where I normally go. It's a great way of interacting and finding out kind of reviews of what other people think and things like that. So if I just give you guys a quick example now, if I go into shop, um, and then if we have a look at, for instance, a department store. So we've got a Marks and Spencer's just near where I am now. So if we click on that, it's going to give you the information including the actual location itself. So that's the location of where the Marks and Spencer's is. And down the bottom here, you are going to get that there is two reviews. There's Marks and Spencer's uh, pricing. Um, so it's got here two out of five, meaning that the prices there aren't too bad. And obviously, it's going to take me 24 minutes to get there. And I can just click on the little car icon there to bring up the navigation. Um, what you're going to also be able to do is just slide up on this bar down the bottom here. And it's going to give you a lot more info. So you're going to have the actual address itself. You can call them, save this location, share the location. You you can also look at the street view which again will take you straight to street view and again you can look around as you've you know done beforehand with normal street view and then going down you can also go to directly to their website or report a problem um, and also rate the area or sorry the location itself um, so it is really nice in terms of the fluidity of the actual application itself um, like I said I've not really had any issues or any slowdown apart from the explorer option occasionally doesn't want to come up for whatever reason um, but overall I really do like it and it does bring a lot of features um, which are in my opinion really quite nice uh, now there is also a way that you can do offline maps um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to show you that now I'm just going to um, go down the bottom here and down the bottom says make this map area available offline. So if I just click on that, what it's going to do, it's basically going to save this area here so that I can view it offline. So what I'm going to do for you guys now, I'm just going to give you an example by turning off my Wi-Fi and also my mobile data. And I'll be able to pan around obviously what it has saved. And you can see at the edge here, that's where it hasn't saved anything basically. So you can save quite a wide area if you are kind of maybe just staying somewhere local, like in a city and things like that. So again, real nice. And also if you kind of zoom in and things, it's going to keep most of the clarity unless you're getting really close up, um, at which point it can cause some problems. Um, but it's good that they've brought that feature back because obviously it has been gone for quite some time now. Um, but it's just real handy that they've got all the information there in terms of uh, bringing some features back and also improving other features. So this is the new Google Maps application from Google. I'm Michael from Copy the Glass and I'll catch you guys in the next video.